Uh, hey everyone, this is Joyfield Gamer, and I decided to restart the What If Izuku was Isekai to Days Gone because if the way that I started it off wasn't strong and it just seemed completely random, all chaotic and stuff like that because this was my first What If and how it start. So and with I'm thinking of how it. Now I should redo it a bit, a slight difference in how I can do it now. So if I hope you like the what if, and if uh, you have any ideas of what should I add on it, um, just put in the comments. I would like to see what ideas I can do so I can add more and how it can be more interesting for you guys. So let's start. Let's start with the what if. Okay. So. We're gonna go to when Izuku is four. So pretty much Izuku is gonna be um, the same as canon. Quirkless. The doctor says, sorry kid. Like pretty much bluntly says, sorry kid, just give up on your dream of being a hero because that's impossible. And Izuku's dreams shatter when he drops the All Might figurine and it and the head breaks so that's the same thing and when Inko Inko is silent and when they get home she doesn't say anything but Izuku says mommy can can I see All Might again so pretty much uh, Inko and Izuku go to to the computer so he watches that same video of All Might saving people and is the same thing as canon he says can I still be a hero too which Inko starts crying saying I'm sorry I'm sorry Izuku I'm sorry so pretty much uh, six years pass sorry no 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 sorry uh, eight year eight years pass okay so pretty much, Izuku still gets bullied a lot by Bakugo. Then one day he just decides to just go out. He just decides to go out for a walk, let's say. But and then when he goes back at home, when he, when he see, looks up in the sky and he sees a meteor shower, he starts wishing that he wishes he can become a hero. He wishes, but nothing happens. So, after that hopeless, that dumb wish he wish he, he he made, he goes to his house, goes to his room, and goes to sleep. But before he goes to sleep, oops, sorry, wait. Before Izuku goes to sleep, he hears like a thunder crackle, like crackling, like around. He wakes up instantly, looking around, if looking outside the window, if there's a storm. But clouds, there's no clouds, nothing in the sky, in the matter of fact. Which really confuses him. But he hears thunder crackling again, and then. He got scared again, but and also looks behind him, and then he sees a weird portal. It's all like blue, and there's lightning going around, like like inside the per inside it. And no, it's not Mortal Kombat or anything. It's not like Raiden's. It's just lightning. It looks just like lightning, and it kind of looks like a gate it doesn't look like an oval shape it's a bluish and it looks like a gate so izuku walks ca cautiously walks towards it and then touches it and it just ripples with like what how water does when you you know when you poke the water it does that and then he puts his whole hand in it and tries to pull it back but it's stuck and then he's being pulled into it. He keeps trying to run and run, like pull out with everything that he has. 
and then he yells out, Mom! And then instantly gets pulled into the, into it. His mother runs in, and then well, opens the door, but she sees nothing but her his Izuku's bed all messed up, and she doesn't know what happened, but she thinks that Izuku got kidnapped. So she goes and to the police and calls Hisashi to tell him that Izuku's been kidnapped. And goes to the police to file a report. Like, go tells them that his, her son is missing. So that happens, and we skip to Izuku's point of view. It's he's like falling and falling, and then out of nowhere he sees the ground, and he thinks he's gonna fall. But actually, he just appears on ground with no scratches, no nothing. And then we see... And Izuku just sees that he's in a dirt, like, plain, like a dirt, or small dirt road. And there's trees around, and he doesn't know where he is. He thinks he's been... There's, like, a freak accident when someone's quirk and accidentally got him there or something, and he doesn't know how to get home. And then, he sit pretty much stands up, but he's... So, he tries walking a direction. He doesn't know which way, so he just walks a random direction. A few minutes later pass, and he just... Like, let's just say a few hours passed instead of minutes, sorry. And Izuku's exhausted, because he's been walking for who knows how long, and he doesn't know where he's at, he doesn't know what happened, he's confused, scared. And then, um, and then, he hears a motorcycle. And he thinks that he's saved since someone is there. And then, this guy with the motorcycle sees Izuku, like, waving. And uh, so he stuck goes to him and saying, are you okay, kid? Is there anything wrong? How can I help? And Izuku starts talking to him, but he notices he can't understand him, and he, that Izuku can't understand this guy, and th the, the other guy can't understand Izuku. So, the only thing that he, Izuku says in English is that it's because there's a language barrier, Japanese and English, so, yeah. The only thing that Izuku can say in English is that it, I am talking Japanese, which the guy, which the guy says, "Oh, um, I know a friend that can actually talk Japanese. Do you want me to call him?" Izuku says, just uh, shakes his head, and the guy says, "Okay, just hold up." Uh, the guy makes the makes the call, and asks his friend to come over since there's a kid that's lost and talks Japanese since he only knows him to t be able to talk Japanese uh, so pretty much yeah and the guy gets there in a few minutes but during those few minutes uh, he Deacon tries to make a conversation with him but he forgot he can't understand him and and the kid can't understand him so pretty much he waits for his friend and his friend gets there and the guy said so uh, where's the kid and he just uh, he, uh, the guy said oh it's over there he's over there right he's right there so pretty much the guy goes over to Izuku and in Japanese he asks him hello are you okay with Izuku actually happy that someone can understand Jap talk and understand Japanese which the guy noticed because he felt really sc the guy noticed that Izuku was really scared and um, was was like uh, internally I don't know how to say it internally pa panic panicking internally I don't know how to say it sorry if I said it wrong so yeah so pretty much they talk for a few minutes, which Izuku tells him his name, where he's from, and really weird stuff that they only think it comes up in, like, shows or, like, 
like comics and stuff. Which he says, uh, so what are your quirks? He just randomly said it, and the guy says, what do you mean? Like, like our reaction? Like, what do you mean? Like, with Isiku saying, you don't know what a quirk is? Saying, mm, with the guy saying, no, I don't know what that is. With Deacon saying, Deacon kind of confused what... Um, what his friend responded to what it was, because he asked him what he what did he what did he what did the kid say? With um, his friend saying he said if we know what a quirk is or what our quirks are. With the guy the guy that stands up saying um what is he I don't know what he's talking about that. Is he, and Izuku just states, what are your superpowers? And the guy says, oh, okay, so that's what you're talking about. Then there's no such thing as superpowers then. With Izuku being shocked. And Deacon saying, why did you say that? Because, and the, his friend said, oh, because the kid asked if uh, we have any superpowers. Which, or what quirks he meant. And the guy says, just states, oh, okay. But there's no such thing as superpowers. With Yuzuku just doing this little thing saying, there are such things as superpowers. I was, I, there, don't you know what who All Might is? With the guy saying, uh, no. What, is that type of anime character or something? Is that type of cartoonish superhero comic that I should know? I am sorry, kid, but I don't know who that is. With Izuku just completely shocked, saying, What type of world do I live, that I go to, that... What in the world did I get to? Like, someone where people don't know who All Might is. Well, he's thinking that. Not saying it out loud. So pretty much, uh, he and also the guy, and also the guy that spoke was speaking to Izuku. Asked, I forgot to ask, but what's your name? So he, uh, Izuku told him his name, which is Izuku Midoriya, and the guy that was speaking to him said his name, which I'm not gonna try because he's gonna die, of course. With the guy that's next to him standing up, telling that his name is Deacon St. John. Just call me Deacon. In which the guy just told uh, translated for Izuku. And then, pretty much, uh, we skip, like, about, let's say, um, two days. Because... They don't know where to take Izuku, and they think he's just someone that doesn't re want to, like, live in reality or something. They think he's, like, has a few screws loose, but they think he's a good, good kid. He's someone who who's smart and stuff like that. So, he asks, they they ask if uh, he, they know, he knows where he lives. They, he said he's supposed to be in Japan, but how did, I don't know how I got here. With the guy saying, what do you mean you don't know? Didn't you take a plane or anything? Or a boat? With Yuzuku saying, no, I didn't. There was like a weird portal like, in my room, and I ended up here after I just get it, got pulled through it. Which, the guy says, well, I think, I think you just had too much to, too much too much alcohol, kid. I think you were just too drunk. With Izuku stating, I am not, I am 12 years old. Thank you very much. The guy states, so you le it, so you illegally drink, huh? With Izuku says, I never drank. With the guy just says, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Which they don't believe. So Izuku just, after like a few weeks, like Izuku just stopped trying to convince them because he's like, 
since people look think like they don't believe me, I don't, and I have nowhere else to go, else to go. Why not? I'll just I don't know stay here, which he is in the MC, and they decided to they in a way they decided to bring him in, since he didn't know where else to go or anything, and Izuku asked if he can go to school still. Which the guys, wanna, like some of them were actually a bit nervous because he doesn't have any papers, which they know, figure, kind of figured out along the way because he, in, he illegally, in a way, went to, went to where they are. I forgot where the game is, is at, like, I don't know which uh, country or state the game of uh, Days Gone is, so if you don't mind putting it in the... In the comments please do because I don't know where that is so pretty much Izuku is spending most of his time on the MC and also stud almost being homeschooled so let's say that some like uh, a, one of the bikers have a, has a friend that's like a teacher so yeah pretty much he's being homeschooled uh, a year passes and Let's say Izuku is taught how to ride, like how to fix and use a bike, and how to ride one, what you should and should not not do. And mo he's mostly being taught by Deacon, like through this whole entire year. And um, then um, Deacon is meets uh at, like goes riding off one day and like just for a ride and then he bumps into a woman that her car broke her car broke down she asked asked for help which he did help as uh, the same thing as canon then pretty much it mostly went in canon with things went in canon with izuku and there was like a bit of a of a a moment where uh Izuku, let's say he just had for his part. He has a part-time job in the MC where he's mostly like a a waiter in a way. So he's pretty much like a waiter. And when when Deacon was there, and he just oops, wait, sorry, oops, there. When Deacon was there, um, Izuku uh, slipped on saying "sure thing, Dad." Since it's because uh, when Hisashi is not isn't at home as much as Izuku wish he was, so Deacon took the place of Hisashi because Deacon showed him how how what like what to do. Like he even showed him how to hunt, like how to track, um, how to use a gun, how to um use a motorcycle, how to fix one, how to, uh, you, like, what you should and should not do. So Deacon took his pla took, took uh, Hisashi's place as a father figure for Izuku. And pretty much when Deacon hears this, says, wait, what did you say? Like, with a bit of confusion, with Izuku saying, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it, 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 I, like, him being Izuku, being embarrassed, I did, and oh, I forgot to say, but during these uh, this year, uh, Izuku was able to under is able to understand and talk English. So pretty much, um, it goes in the same as canon. Well, it, mostly during like th that moment, uh, everyone teased John like Deacon for like uh, being a father now, because Izuku saw him as a dad. Or a guardian, most like most likely, which Deacon didn't mind really. And then pretty much, one day Izuku went went on a ride with Deacon on the same on a, like uh, it's because uh, he was going with Deacon because he just needed to get some errands, and he was the one that was going out, and everyone else was busy. Let's say that's when. Izuku, the, when Deacon took Izuku to go get like groceries and stuff like that, that's when Izuku would bump into Sarah and Sarah would see Deacon, which would she would say, "Oh, hey, Deacon!" Like pretty much since Deacon and Sarah began to date, 
at a moment in that year. So let's say, yeah, pretty much. And that's when she meet Izuku and Deacon slipped and saying, here, this is my son, Izuku, which he slipped up and also felt embarrassed because, you know, it, it, he didn't think, he wasn't thinking, he just said it, which Sarah thought it was like his, like he looked like a bit older than she would think and she, and Deacon looked like super, like younger than he should and Deacon said no he is not related to me by blood which uh Sarah just said oh okay I get it now and Izuku asked um who is she uh, De uh which he didn't mind calling uh Deacon, Dad, or just Deacon. So I'm just going to call him Deacon for myself. And when Izuku is talking, he's going to say Dad. So Deacon and just says, oh, this is my girlfriend, uh, Sarah, he says. With with Sarah slightly blushing and and Izuku saying, oh, okay. I didn't, I knew he, I knew you were dating someone, but I didn't know you were something, dating someone, someone. I didn't know you were dating her. So pretty much, they, both Sarah and Izuku get to know each other, and also Deacon, like, and Deacon, pretty much. Like, all three go, like, hang out. Izuku feeling the third, like, a third wheel on their date, he says, well, I think I'm gonna go back home. With Deacon, sta Deacon stating, are you sure you don't want me to give you a red? He says, nah, I don't want to, I don't want to be, like, a third wheel on your de date. With... Deacon and Sarah hearing this, they were kind of slightly a little embarrassed since they came from a kid, like a kid. So he says, Izuku says, see ya, I'm just gonna go walking. I, besides, I need the exercise. And Deacon says, wait, let me call someone because you have the groceries, remember? He's like, ah, oh, yeah, right. Kind of forgot. Can you call Bo Uncle Boozer for me? With Deacon saying, uh, yeah, sure, kid. He calls Boozer, and Boozer comes pick up Izuku and takes him, takes him to Deacon's house. Let's say he ha Deacon has a house, let's say. So, pretty much, it goes as canon, uh, where Deacon gets married to Sarah, like, the, the next year, which turn And also, I forgot to say, Izuku was 13 when he first met Sarah. Then, the next year, he became 14. So... Yeah. So let's just sk skip a bit. So pretty much, um, and I'm gonna do a little bit of of an idea, a different idea. So yeah, just wait. And sorry if you anyone hears uh, sounds in the background. So yeah. So then, yeah, I forgot where I was. Wait, hold on. Then let's just skip all that and let's go to where in where you the video game starts to like the whole place like the small town is like going in chaos. Uh Sarah was stabbed and everything is going to hell, pretty much. Then pretty much you try to get uh Sarah to a chopper, which there was then there was a scientist guy named O'Brien, which uh, Deacon says, he and Deacon and Izuku were like, like cover, sorry, Deacon was carrying Sarah, and Deacon and Boozer were covering them. And Izuku by this time is pretty much the same age, 14, no, yeah, 14, when this was happening. And then, pretty much, the, the guy says, sorry, only, there's already, there's al it's already filled up. With Deacon saying, what do you mean filled up? Okay. So pretty much, it's the same thing as canon, like the same argument. Uh, Deacon pointing the gun to the guy's head. Then, the guy says, I can only carry two, two of you. I, I can only carry one of you, he says. Sorry, two of you. Two of you. Three? I don't know. Fuck it. I'm just going to keep it as canon. So, one of you. And 
Deacon thinks hard, but Sir and Sarah just says, "Take, take Izu, take Z, take Izuku." With Izuku saying, "No, I'm not going. You should go. They have like everything, like medical supplies and everything. We can just meet you up there when, when we get out of this mess." With Deacon stating, "Yeah, he's right. We, you gotta, you gotta go. You're the most injured." So pretty much, and sorry if you're hearing the, the helicopter. Sorry. So the same thing has happened in this canon where uh, Deacon puts Sarah on the on the uh, carrier, whatever you call it, with O'Brien helping and stuff like that. So they fly off. Same thing, and that's when two years are pass, as in canon. So pretty m wait. So pretty much, yeah. Um, well, yeah, we get to this time skip of two years, and this is when Izuku is 16. So, yeah. Pretty much, they it's the same thing as canon when you start playing. They see the woman named Alvarez, and that she's beat up. Izuku goes to her saying, Hey, are you okay? Hey, hey Alvarez, just don't talk. Hey, calm down, calm down. With Boozer asking, Who did this to you? Hers saying, Well, yeah. With him asking, who did this to you? Who did, like, who did it? With her spotting the name Leon. With both, while she slums on down to Izuku, Izuku saying, damn it, him? With Boozer saying, that's, that, Oh, he, that son of a bitch is going to get it now. And sorry for the swearing. If you guys don't like the swearing, you can click off. You can dislike it. It's your it's your choice. You can do whatever. I, I'm just doing this because it's fun for me. And I just thought of this as a, as a really good idea in my point of view. I'll give you like a, a bit of an explanation of how Izuku's personality is changed through these two years. Uh, like... In the end, pretty much. So, pretty much, we go back to where we were, where Alvarez dies right in front of all three, Deacon, uh, Boozer, and Izuku. And just to let you know, Izuku has his own bike now. He was able to get his own bike, so yeah. So, um... Pretty much, they do the same chase, and they get to the port where they, um, Leon gets shot by Deacon. Izuku, uh, well, Leon still had, still shot again, but Izuku shot him in the leg. So he, he had two wounds. And it goes the same thing as canon with, uh, Leon, wait, sorry. With uh, Leon getting his bullet, his uh, brain is blown out by a bullet by Deacon, as canon. And the same thing as canon happens for to Deacon. And uh, it's the same thing. He gets to the oil, and when he was gonna get out and go to Boozer and Izuku, Izuku was being held, like uh, held, like to the ground. While Boozer was getting torched, and he's screaming, Let him go, you bastards! With Deacon coming in and saving um, Boozer and Izuku. With Izuku checking on Boozer, saying, Hey, 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 hey look at me, look at me, look at me. It, like, saying, Are you okay? It, like, are you fine? Is With Boozer saying, Yeah, I'm peachy. Son of a fuck. So, pretty much, uh, he, um, Deacon tells him to get on the bike now and let's go to the base. So, they go to the base on that's on top of the mountain and they stay there for a bit. Which, uh, pretty much, uh, Boozer's arm is pretty messed up. So, um, yeah, and, um, 
and also Deacon's bike is also messed up as cannon in the cannon in the game. Forgot to put point that out. So um, yeah. For now, that's all for today. So, but I'm gonna say the personality of Izuku. So the personality of Izuku for this what if is gonna be. He's still gonna be has have part of his humanity. It's just that he's seen so much traumatic stuff that he doesn't trust as so many he doesn't uh, trust people you know he the he can you can gain his trust but he doesn't trust people that easily he the people he only trusts is like uh mostly deacon and boozer pretty much the two if deacon trusts this person then izuku will give some trust to that person but he'll still be wary about it and He's gonna. He has the mentality of someone that still wants to save people, as much as he wants. But he, but if there's like a impossible, like if it's impossible, he's like he will still try, like his very best. But if he gets the results like a uh, negative, like there's like uh, there's no way that you're able to save this person, or if there's still a positive, like if there's still a way to do this, then he'll think. Oh, then he'll still think of doing it. So, yeah, that's it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.